I mean, you kill the music. Um, but let me, uh, let me find something I can actually use. I'll just pick first first thing about crafting it kind of works a little differently in this game than in most others or different yet not so different in here like world of warcraft had professions they weren't uh they weren't actual classes in the technical sense you just you just simply use them whereas in the, this game here each class or each one, each aspect of crafting is its own class, meaning I have to actually switch to whatever one I want to, depending on whatever item I want to make. So there's that. Oh, don't fuck up on me, controller. So let me let me pull some uh, yellow element. Let me pull some yellow element out of out of my retainer here. And for demonstration purposes, I'll bring out both. So I'll go ahead. And I'll go ahead and switch to leather worker. Alright. So the main goal. Okay, let me uh, check and see if you guys can actually see this. Um yeah, you kind of can. All right, if you you should be able to see the tooltip for this item. It's owner skin, fingerless gloves of striking. It's towards the lower right corner there. Now, if you look at the stats for it, uh, strength 210, vitality 234, critical hit plus 190, skill speed uh, plus 133. These are the stats for a standard regular quality item. Okay, now... On the tooltip, do you notice that um, the items lit up a little bit? And do you see that uh, weird-looking symbol um, underneath the name there? That symbol means high quality. Now, if you also notice, do you notice the stats are now higher for the high-quality item? Normal quality, higher quality. So the goal most of the time when you're crafting is to try to try to make a high quality item because the high quality items have the better stats but the same also goes it doesn't the same doesn't go just for the equipment it also goes for the mats used to make them as well I'm not sure how well you can see this, but if you look towards the uh, upper right corner here of this uh, window, the max number, 15,332. This is the call. This is the quality number I need to reach in order to, in order for a 100% chance of this piece of equipment here becoming a high quality item. But as I said before. The same also goes for mats as well. So like if I you see here, if I was to just use nothing but the NQ mats, okay, 
Okay, let me take you to this screen here. And I'll go ahead and bring this over here so it'll be easier to see. The meter down here at the bottom is the quality meter. Again, the goal being is you want to get a quality score of 15,332 to make this a 100% chance of it becoming a high quality item. The, no the meter at the top here is the progress meter. Once you get it to 1763, the item is made. You've created the item, and then whether or not it's going to be a high quality item depends on the percentage, depending on how, high, how much quality you have built up on here. So, generally speaking, the goal is to get the quality to 100% first, then to get your progress meter to, 100, to 1763. And then the number over here is durability. Nearly everything you do when crafting uses reduces durability. It reduces this number. When that number reaches zero, and if the item is not made, or if you don't have the progress to 100%, you've destroyed the item, and the attempt is a failure. And you've wasted all those mats. So. And then down here, CP means crafting points. Again, nearly every, everything you do when crafting consumes crafting points. So, you got to, there's one, two, three, there's four different meters you need to pay attention to on here when making these items. So, but like I said, all I'm, all I'm using now is just normal quality mats, normal quality materials. So, I start with zero. Now, instead of using just straight up NQ items, I'll go ahead and use a high quality yellow element, and I'll add two zoner skin, two high quality zoner skins. Yes, and you're about to see that right now. See? It's now 68.33. It's going to be a little easier for me to reach that 100% now. And now all these abilities that you see down here, these are all just ways of budging with the numbers. They all do different buffs. They all do different things. So, if you can see, if you can see this tooltip here, actually, let me um. You could also look over here on the lower left corner. I have the, the battle log here. For kind of a weird quirk, but you consider this crafting as a type of battle. So, But you can also see in the lower left corner over here how each of these abilities work. But I'll, I'll try to show you, show you what I'm doing as I'm going along. So, And I'll also keep in mind too that uh, nearly 90% of these abilities you don't get you don't get immediately when you start crap when you start your crafting class at level one you don't get deadly squat to work with so you're gonna have to deal with getting a lot of nq items so that so now that that's out of the way i'm level 80 now so i have all my abilities so what i'm going to start with this ability here reflect um it increases quality um where it says increases inner quiet stack by three and it's only available on the first step step meaning the first turn so i have to use this immediately right when i start crafting so. and then inner quiet i think it's receiving a bonus to control it with every increase in quality and it also shows here too what this means that every time you use what's called a touch ability, like this standard touch and a preparatory touch, those kind of touch actions, touch actions will increase the quality number. Inner quiet, it, in, it just as it says, oh, a bonus to control, all that means is 
affects the amount of quality improved in a single in a single step. And then craftsmanship, I don't pay attention to it much, but it affects how much uh, progress you get with every step. So we got that. And then the next thing I want to do, this is another ability that you don't get immediately. It's called Waste Knot. Normally, nearly every single, most abilities that you're going to do uses up 10 durability. Like the ability I just did here, Reflect, that uses up 10 durability. But if I cast this, the next four steps I do redu uh, reduces durability loss by half. So I'm only going to lose 5, not 10. And then standard touch. This is just um this is just the bread and butter touch move. Alright, this came up. Every so often your condition by default your condition is normal. Nothing special. But um every with every step, there's a twenty percent chance of your condition being good. What this means is just as it says, increases the quality are 50% higher than normal. But uh, there's also, um, I can go ahead and do another touch move, which will increase by 50%, or some of these other abilities I have, like this one and this one, they're only available when your condition is either good or excellent. Um, excellent is another condition that comes up it's a 10% chance, but when it comes up, your next uh, your next step will have its quality increased by triple, but the very next step, your condition will be poor, Your next, whereas your next quality step is reduced by 50%. So. And so, since my condition is good, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. I'm now at 71%. Almost there. And one more. And now I'm going to use cast this. This increase. This restores 30 of your durability, but it's a pretty expensive cast, so. And remember, too, nearly everything you do in crafting uses up CP, and I've already used at least half of it. So now, just going to do a careful synthesis. Ta-da! I just made an HQ. Just made an HQ zone of leather. So, that's how crafting works. And then, many, many of the equipment requirements actually require you getting uh, mats from other classes. So that's one of the that's one of the challenging things about crafting is uh you basically have to you have to level up all your classes for the most part evenly. You can't just get one straight to eighty, then get the next one straight to eighty and so on and so forth. You have to get you have to get all of them to eighty, so you have to level them all at the same time. Because like I said, many of these uh many of these items have requirements from other classes. So let me go ahead and um Okay, so let me get out of there. And so let me switch to the weaver class. I need to make one. 
And this time it's going to be easy because it's all HQ. This is going to make this a lot easier. I already started at 42%, so I don't have far to go. So, do my usual. Cast Reflect. Cast Waste Knot, which lower, cuts my durability loss in half. And then, since I'm already so close to hitting 100%, I'm going to do this ability here called Delicate Synthesis. It increases both progress and quality at the same time. But yeah, you're, you are correct. So, now that I made that, let me go back to my leather worker. Now, I have all the, all the HQ mats I need to make this item. Same thing here, because all the math I'm using are all HQ. I don't have far to go. So I'll do my usual. And this time I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have it on my bar. So let's get it on my bar. This is a uh, waste knot too. It's a new and improved version of a uh, waste knot. It's going to be expensive as hell to use, though. This one here is going to cut, reduce my durability loss in half for eight steps, not just four. And again, because my prog because my quality is already fairly close to 100%, I don't have to. I don't have to focus on getting this to 100% first. I can do my um, I can do my delicate synthesis instead, which again it increases both progress and quality. And now that that's at 100%, I could just um, I could just um. Synthesize my way to I can just go ahead and hit that hit this here. Just keep doing that until I get until I make the item. Yes, yes. Now but now if um if what I did there um if um if I was to do, if I was to keep doing this, delicate synthesis, and when something like, when say, both quality and progress hit the max at exactly the same time, it will still take into consideration your 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 percentage your percentage chance for quality. So, if the quality hit, so if the quality does hit 100 percent, and you do make the item, it does become 100. It, it is a 100 percent. It does become a high quality item. Um, but generally speaking, if you want to, if you really want to play it safe, then yeah, you want to get it to hundred, the quality to hundred percent, then the progress. But uh, if you've done, if you've done this enough times to where, if you've done enough times to where you know exactly how many touch, how many touch moves, how many touch moves, exactly how many touch moves you need to get the pro, uh, quality to hundred percent, like, like what I did here. You could also uh, make macros in this game. I don't know if you knew that already or not, but 
like I said, if you've done this enough to where you know exactly what ability to hit at what time and how many times, etc. You could just make macros that do this for you. And no, these they're not they're not cheats. I mean, it's it's in the game, so. So you can do what I did here. If, like I said, if you know if you know exactly what if you know exactly what buttons to hit, like every time, you could just go ahead and make macros like I did. Like this one here, if I had all HQ items to where I to where my progress is already at 42%, I use this one. If I don't have if if my um if I'm not using all HQ mats or if I'm um, if I'm making old old school items that will um, that will cap at 15%, then I use this one. Same as the previous one, but these two lines here, standard touch, those are just exclusive quality uh, quality increases, just to give that a little bit of a boost, and then the rest of the way, delicate synthesis. So, like I said, but you have to you have to have done crafting for a while to know exactly what ability to do when, in order to really get any use out of these macros. And then uh, for that uh, for that equipment, that piece of equipment I just made, this is what I'd use to make it. Just reflect, waste not to, delicate synthesis all the way down. So. But that's crafting. It's also one of the reasons why uh, Final Fantasy XIV here is my favorite MMO. No other MMO or help, no other game that has a crafting system in it has, has anything close to this. Most other game, most other games I've seen, you just you click on an anvil or a forge or whatever, um, and you just type down however many you want to make, and you just sit back and you just twiddle your thumbs until they're all made. They don't have what what's in here. Now, in this game here, you can do that, like what I was doing of making glamour prisms. Yes, yes, and considering the huge amount of crafting I had, I often do. It's a godsend for me. If if not for that, uh, chances are my I'd probably take a longer hiatus from this game because I get burnt quick. Now, like I was doing here, you can do what's called quick synth, but there's drawbacks to doing it. So the only time you wanna the only time you wanna do quick synth is if um. If the match you get out of them aren't really aren't critical for making other items. Like it says here, HQ materials will not improve item quality. So if you you don't want to use HQ items when doing quick synthing. Unless again, unless in, unless you could easily acquire them. Um, would you also like me to show you how gathering works in this game? It kind of works like crafting, but there's, there's differences in it. the same thing here you have GP meter gathering points and again most everything you do in here except the actual mining or the actual gathering of the node is gonna cost GP yeah only in a video game so again the goal being but uh, I think since I pretty much out gear I outgear this area. 
the gathering percentage is automatically going to be at 100%. Um, I also need to mention too that in the previous expansions, before this most recent one, um, they, I can't remember exactly what they did, but they buffed all the gathering percentages and all the nodes. But again, I can't, I can't remember exactly what the, what the trade-off was. I haven't gathered in a long time, so. But most of the time, especially back in the day, you wouldn't be seeing 100% right now. You'd be seeing some lower number, unless you outgeared the, unless you outgeared the area. So kind of the same thing here. This kind of works the same way. You want to get your HQ, uh, HQ percentage hot up as high as you can, and then once you've done everything you, you're able to do, then you start mining. So, and also, when you're gathering, you have the you have a gathering stat which determines your percentage chance of uh, actually getting that item. And then you have your perception rating, which uh, is a base chance of that item you get is going to be a high quality item. So, we're going to go here. Increases the chance of obtaining HQ between 30 to 100%. And it's based on your perception rating. Yep, yep, same as in crafting. Which, apparently my uh, perception ain't very high because 43%. Okay, so, oh, got an NQ. Reason I have to do that. Grants another gathering attempt, but it cap in this particular note here, it caps out at five. So I have to actually gather one first before giving me that gathering attempt. And there's a reason why I do it like this. messed up somewhere. And yep. Uh, messed up. There's one. There's another. another but um let me restore my GP there but um the idea if I could find it if you can see this uh, deep bigger but if you can if you can hit a particular node at least five times you can cast that and then from there on after all other um, all other attempts will automatically give you an HQ item like I said it's been a long time since I've gathered so I gotta remember I gotta remember exactly what I did I okay I think I remember what I did wrong I didn't combine Unearth with Solid Reason. I did them separately. Let me uh, let me roam around a little bit. Oh, here we are. We got lucky here, and um, 
I think there's a bunch of quests you have to do in order to get this, but once you do it, all other nodes are going to have a random chance of a random buff. Like in this case here, gathering fortune plus 55%, I hit the jackpot here. Now the, now the base is 68%. So, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and waste the food here, if I can find it. If I even have it. Okay, that'll buff my, that'll, I think that buff, buffs up my gathering. Buffs up my gathering, and it buffs up my GP max. So I'll go ahead and wait till that reaches the cap, which will be 824. Okay. So now, now that I got that buff, I can start with one earth. And that'll bring it to 98%. So now, now that I have my quality up where I want it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat the two extra two percentage points. And so from here on from here on in costs hundred GP, increases the number of uh, number of items obtained on your next gathering attempt of one, two, or three. Should be three, so There we go. Got three of them. Same thing again. Got three more. And again. And three more. And three more. I just got 12. I just got 12 HQ mats out of that one node. But like I said before, it is a random chance though. But that's gathering. didn't come out right yes yes um generally speaking most of the um most of my gathering is just going to consist of um basically unloading unloading all my gp onto one node for that big payoff and then i'm just marking time from all the other nodes just keep on doing that until eventually i'll get that i'll get that one big buff on that one particular node and then just pump unload all my GP again and just get the jackpot on that one. So so it sort of kinda of, it kinda of works like the machinist class. They they center on that that one abil that one ability that has a one minute cooldown. I forgot the name of it, but once you once you are once you start that cooldown, that's when you start pumping all your other abilities. You start all your buffs, all your potions. You start pumping all that damage in that like 10 second window on a one minute cooldown. So gathering kind of works that way too. But like I just like crafting, I have never seen a gathering system like this before. No other game I've ever played has this. You just run up, click a note, chink, 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 chink. You just Keep mining until you got all the all you need out of that node, and bye bye. That's it. 